Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download the very latest version of RPCS3 running on the Mac operating system. So this is going to be the continuous integration build, which has now been merged. And today I'm going to show you how to download that version. So the source of this is going to be Nas, who is one of the developers of RPCS3 for Mac operating system. And I'm following the guide on their YouTube video. And if I scroll down to here, what we can see is that the continuous integration has been released on Cirrus-CI.com. And so what we're going to do is to leave a link to this in the description. What we're going to do is to click on this and see if we can download what's called an artifact of the macOS build of RPCS3. When you get to this website, what you're going to find are all of the RPCS3 latest changes. Every time a change is made and merged into the main branch of RPCS3, it's going to be featured in this list. If we click on the latest merge, if I click on this here, then what we can do is to download the latest version of RPCS3 for each of these operating systems. We can download the Windows version or the Linux version, but what we're really interested here is the macOS version. Just be aware that all of these changes are quite fluid. This is not a full release, it's what's called an artifact. So therefore, if I use the very latest version, for example, it might have introduced bugs that have not been tested yet. And so it might be a better idea to wait for a full release if you want a more stable experience. However, if you don't mind having an untested buggy experience, then we're gonna go ahead and download the artifact. So here we're gonna click on this latest commit and then click on the Cirrus macOS link here. And then I'm gonna scroll down and find the artifact here. So I'll click on the artifact, and then in the Artifax folder, we're gonna find the macOS 7 zip and the macOS DMG. So this is just a compressed version of the DMG. I'm gonna be downloading this one. I'm gonna click here now. I'm gonna download the DMG file. So once that's downloaded, we have the DMG file here. I'm gonna double click on it. And then we have our PCS3. I'm gonna overwrite my current build and replace. So what I need to do is go to Applications folder, now I'm going to hold down the control key and then click on RPCS3, press the open button here, and that's going to allow us to open this file, which has not been verified. So I'm going to click open here. Here it's asking us whether we want to use a build that's not an official RPCS3 release. We're going to click yes. And now we have the 13150BBA258E2 alpha, and this is different from the version that I've used in the past. However, this looks like it's all working correctly. If you'd like to find out how to set up RPCS3 correctly for the Mac operating system, then I'll leave a link to my tutorial video in the description of this video. You can follow this and then install the firmware and then set up games. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other RPCS3 tutorials for the Mac operating system on this channel. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.